Was Willie Bolly's tackle a red card? Now, there's been a lot of split opinions on this uh, all over Twitter last night. At the time, as you'll see from this tweet here, Tim Spears, when he was reporting on the game, explained that Bolly had been sent off for a red. You had one tweet saying, never a red. You had one tweet saying, it's always a red. So here's a picture, first of all, of Bolly clearly touching the ball before he follows through after on Bernardo Silva. But now here's a pick of when he's captain the ankle and compare it to company who got a yellow card um who was winning a bit more aggressive for me as well so yeah company going in quite hard his foot's higher you don't actually properly connect with salah but uh bolly obviously does connect with bernardo silva but it's not that aggressive for me but there, there's those pictures and here's another picture of virgil van dyke who also got a yellow card for this challenge which is bloody eyes nearly halfway up his shin which is a leg breaker and it's just a bit of inconsistency from the referee where Bolly gets sent off. Those two top six players in top six teams don't get a sending off, which um, it's just inconsistent refereeing for me on all parts. Now, here's an unfinished poll from the 77 Club podcast. And as you can see, they think, uh, the people who voted, that it should have been a yellow card. And I agree, as you'll see from my tweet below that. I think it was a yellow card. I think he got the ball and he did catch him on the follow through, but it was unintentional. He didn't. You know, he didn't want to break his leg. He didn't on purposely try and harm the bloke. So for me, it's a yellow card. Now, underneath my tweet, Andy responded on Twitter, as you can see here, which he says along the lines of, there was no need for Bolly to make the challenge. He was in the middle of the field, 15 minutes in, and uh, he reckons it was reckless. So he thinks it was a red card. Now, that's his opinion. This is certainly split opinion. Um, a lot of people agree with me. A lot of people agree with what Andy said. And uh, here's another tweet I just want to show you from um, Mark Klattenberg. He says, uh, anything above the ankle should be a red. Anything below should be a yellow. Now, Bollies is basically on the ankle. So this is probably why it's dividing opinion so much. Um, but yeah, comment below. Do you think it was a red card? I don't think we'd have beat Man City anyway if we'd have kept 11 men on. But it's just frustrating. It spoiled the game last night. And uh, like I said earlier, it's inconsistent refereeing where two big players in top six teams do a similar sort of challenge and they only get yellow cards. So Nuno did come out and say he thought it was a red card, which uh, that's his opinion. But 10 years ago, I don't think it was even a foul. But the game's obviously moved on. It's almost a non-contact sport now. So yeah, as I say, comment below, give your opinion. They're my thoughts. They're some of the uh, tweets I saw last night. Please like and subscribe if you're new. As you know, I'm after a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the season. Bring on Leicester.